And here it is, the Honda Beat. Do you feel my heart beating? Welcome po sa isa na namang episode ng Makina Moto Features. This time, susubukan natin ang isa pang scooter or automatic ng Honda, ang Honda Beat. Nakakuha ako ng mensahe galing sa Honda Philippines at nabalitaan ko nga na ang Honda Beat ay number one ngayon sa segment niya na 110cc. Not just in the Philippines, pero sa buong Asia. Hanip no, number one in sales in the whole of Asia in this segment. Ang scooter, malakas yan sa parte natin ng mundo. Dito sa atin, masikip at ang man ng traffic, yung nakakaurat na talaga. That's why these little scoots are very attractive to both beginners and more experienced riders. The Honda Beat, it's four-stroke, air-cooled, single overhead cam, 110 cc's, ACG starter siya, may kick and electric, transmission type it is automatic, V-matic, telescopic forks at the front, mono shocks at the rear, 14-inch wheels, with a fuel tank capacity of 4 liters. We're gonna get into more of the specs later on. Tool area, air C5 extension in Paranaque, border of Pasay and Paranaque. Very, very tight here, especially during rush hour. But we have the Honda Beat, and I'm confident I'm gonna get to where I need to go to. No problem. Okay, Salas Bridge, rush hour. It is about 6 o'clock in the morning right now. Really, really tight here. But I am the master of Salas Bridge, and uh, we are gonna whiz through this in the safest way possible that's what i mean you gotta be courteous that's when i'm more left <laughs> okay the beat is just fantastic this is one of the best goods that i can just go around and it's my main ubra and we're off as expected, okay na okay yung Honda Beat sa pang araw-araw nating masikip na realidad. Parang pinong buhangin na lumulusot sa mahigpit na kamay ng traffic. Electric scooter, they should just put more protection man. That's just too squid. I know wala pang regulation pero nakikihalubilo ko kasi with somebody else. Mabagal lang ako ha, I was running 40. Sabihin nyo, kumakarera ako sa stoplight. Of course not! Banking, banking! Hindi po yung dana na tao! Hoy! Parin! Nice bike sir! Ah, nauna ako yung BMW yun. Ang suspension ng beat is on the soft side, at least for me, sa palag niya sa timbang ko na 170 pounds. Pabait ang alis, kaya steady lang sa mga kanto. Kung lalakasan nila ito, dapat nang nini-improve yung suspension. Pero, para sa puwersa niya ngayon, more than adequate naman. Pang araw-araw, sapol at mainam siya sa mga gulatang lubak sa lansakan. At komportable naman siya sa mga pang malayuan na lakad. Ang laki kong bulas tignan dito, I am 6 feet tall at nagmumukhang parang laruan sa akin. Pero pag sakay mo, at least for me, para sa akin, hindi naman ganun ang pakiramdam. Ang tinitignan ko dito ay yung leg room at yung distansya sa akin ng handlebars. Mahaba mga arms ko kaya pwede akong umatras. So kung hindi ka apektado na tinutukso na laki mong bulas sa motor, Zack, di walang kaso to. What I also like about the Honda Beat is that kahit maliit siya, hindi ito matama yung paakot. My problem with other small displacement scoots, pag nagmamaneobra na ako, tumatama na yung handlebar sa tuhod ko. Now with the Beat, I'm turning, it's clearing my knees, no problem. It's also with the left. See, they took into consideration some guys who are tall like me, I'm 6 feet tall, and the turning radius is nice and generous, perfect for the city. Bago mo tara! Gano'n mo na ako ha! Gano'n mo talang! Woo! Yabang! Bakitang gano'n mo dito? Parang gano'n lang ha! Oy pare! Pareho tayo! Tipid! Malakas ha! Alam mo bakit mas malakas to? Daming plus oh! Plus! 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 
Full tank. For gas consumption, I had two sets. For walwal with angkas na ang lalako lahat ng gamit ko pang shoot sa tugtog, city driving, akit baba ng bundok. My worst case is 96.3 kilometers minus 43.4 kilometers at 52.9 kilometers travel divided by 1.66 liters of gas consumed. I got 31.896 kpl. Now that's my worst case. Yung pinakatipid ko naman na nakuha sa timbang ko nasa 47.3. 362 kpl. So, tipid din considering matik din siya. Sa mga ultra tipid mode naman na parang ginawa nila sa safe run challenge last year, nakuha nila mga 89 kpl. So, depende kung paano mo rin siya gagamitin. And you have to consider power to weight ratio. The lighter you are, the better. So another cool thing you guys can see that I come out, I ram a little bit more the light one. So, I'm not being very efficient with my gas consumption. But I can speed up if I accelerate slowly, maintaining that green light over there. This is the Honda Beat Street. This is the standard version, which means it does not have the CBS or Combi Brake System, nor the ISS or Idle Stop System. It's just your bare bottoms Honda Beat, the standard version. So what's Honda trying to sell here in this bike? It's their stylish headlight, basically the whole look of it all. Sharp tail as well. This whole bike is compact, small, it's light, it's very easy to ride on. At least with my time with it. Tubeless na lang yung mga gulong. Tubeless, disc brake in front drum at the rear. What's also nice about the street now, it's got a safety switch on the side stand, meaning... Alright. So it's gonna shut itself like that. Now the gauge is a combination of digital and analog. So that's what's happening with the beat and the cluster. It's very straight up. Let's take a look at the U-Box. Pop that open. Let's take a closer look at the welds here. You got some slight surface for us there. Butlig lang naman yan. It's all on the surface. I can actually scrape it out. Yeah, that's that. Manual is created here. This part is plastic, which means kayod factor nito at ito di apektado walang bakal or pintura na pwedeng kayurin because nga plastic siya. So that's good. Don't mix fuel with additive. Don't remove the cover. Do not clean air filter. Replace it according to maintenance schedule. In other words, wag kayong magmarunong at sundin na lang ang instructions para walang sisihan. It can fit 11 liters of stuff. Anything and everything except a helmet. Pretty much straight up. I raise this. Yeah. You can actually take this all out with these two screws also. Seats, pretty grippy, synthetic. It's a bit on the shiny side. Very upon ya, okay then. It's comfortable naman. Got a little nice wide breath if I sit down. Dead center. May konting overlap siya dito. Oh, Zach, you naughty boy. That's okay. Hindi naman tipong kitted like dirt bike. But it's also not as wide as some others. It's, it's pretty on the slim side. Pero tama lang. Pero din tayo sa bitan dito. Pero bag there, the helmet, if you trust to leave your helmet in the parking lot. Like the click, it's asymmetrical with the compartments in front. Ito mas malalim. At ito, hindi ganun kalalim. Floorboard. Very, very spacious. A lot of room here for my legs. I'm six feet tall, by the way. A lot of room. So it's nice how the design, this thing slopes here. This whole thing goes like this to give you more leg room. Paint job, pretty good. Fuel injected, of course. Handlebars are pretty regular, but it's pretty grippy. Workmanship, pretty much, it's top notch. However, I can tell this plastic over here and this plastic over here, the plastic over here would not be as prime as, let's say, the other plastics of the higher price Honda scooters. But again, this is designed to be in a certain price point. That's why. However, nakakatawa naman dito, pag talun mo dito, yung quality nito, the grab bar, it's good. I'm not sure what's underneath, but may coating siya. They coated something on top of what I can only assume is the metal bar. Uh, which I think is cool. The difference between this, the standard version, and the one with the combi brake and the ISS is about 3,000 pesos. So it will make you think. Eh. So lit ba? Konting tumbling na lang. Tungka na sa may combi brake tsaka ISS. So depende siya kung type mo ba yung ISS to begin with. Is importante ba yun sa'yo? Importante rin ba sa'yo yung combi brake? You know, mga ganun bagay. Saan ko ba magagamit yung extra 3,000 matitipid ko? You know, stuff like that. Para sa top speed naman niya, with no load except for the bike itself, it can go over 110 kph with the limiter. On the road with an actual rider, kaya niya rin sagarin at abutin yung limiter. It'll just take some time though. Sa brakes naman, in typical Honda fashion, may kagat talaga siya. Maaasahan mo lalo na pag sabay mong ginamit. Yes, try the brakes. Oh, huh? Wow. 
Now if you've seen my other Honda reviews, you'll remember that most of the time the rear brakes of a Honda will lock. This one, ah, well, it's good. It's gonna slow down gently, but you're not gonna skid. Now let's try the front this time. Okay, the front is biting more. I'll just be more aggressive with the braking. Let's see if it's gonna skid. Yeah, let's try it. Nangyari ang hindi naasahan. And as you can see, when I test brakes, I really try to test them in a private subdivision when no one is around. Ang nangyari, may mga tiratirang buhangin at lupa sa daan from the delivery guys ng construction. So, bad trip. <laughs> Good thing I was wearing full protective gear from head to toe. So, lesson learned, oo, mainit mag-jacket sa atin sa Pilipinas, pero buti nang naiinita na protektado kesa naman presko ka nga, pero para ka naman busit. Day na, pwede ka naman maligo eh. Fantastic braking power, basta dalawa. So a little tip on braking, if you're skidding, have the presence of mind. If you feel like the front wheel is already skidding, let go already. Let it roll. Because if you're gonna grip the front brakes even more, sem lang ka talaga. At kung titignan natin na mabuti ano nangyari sa motor sa aking sem lang, meron po tayong gasgas dito, meron po tayong gasgas dito sa fender, dito naman malinis, dito may gasgas, at yung heat shield ng exhaust may gasgas. Yan lang po nangyari sa aking little spill. Pero structurally, tibay ng chassis. Walang nangyari, walang karag-karag. It was running fine. Nice and smooth still. So, na-testing natin ang on the beat sa sem lang na medyo minor at wala naman nangyari sa kanya. At sa akin, ano naman nangyari? Wala naman masyado. Ito po ang aking legs. Maayos. Dito ako sumemplang. Wala naman nangyari because I was wearing some protective gear. Meron lang po tayong peklat ng mga agat ng lamok. Sa ating kaliwang bahagi, okay lang din. It's my hairy legs. Importante talaga ang protective gear. Sa aking kamay naman, meron po tayo dito. Ang nakikita niya yan. Medyo nagihil na nga dahil kumayod siya sa aking gloves. Ngayon, napakatindi ng kompetensya sa partidong ito. Andito na ang emerging market or new market segment. Andito yung mga taong nais sumubok or magsimula na sa motor. Ang Honda Beat Street ay kabatak yung Honda Beat Fashion. At pareho presyo nila at 66,400. Between the two, actually mas type yung itsura ng Beat Street. Pero kung ako ang pagpipilian, doon na ako sa Honda New Beat Premium sa halagang 69,900. 3.5 na lang yung difference eh. ba? Diba? So, doon ka na sa matindi. May ISS at Combi Brand. Okay din naman yung standard beat Pero for me, ugali ko kasi yung Alam mo yung hindi ka makatulog Pag alam mong may mas patinding version of the same model E eh, konti lang naman yung presyo, di ba? Pag financing, di mo na rin mararamdaman yun eh Ito sa premium Okay ang Honda Beat kung naghahanap ka ng first motor Na hindi nakaka-intimidate Para sa mga batikan na nagmamotor Magigets nyo din yung beat Siguro kung may maidagdag lang silang improvement Sa napakahusay na motor na ito Sana ito yung ABS Pangarap ko ito para sa lahat ng motor Sana dumating ang panahon na economic Economically, kaya na natin ma-afford ang feature nito even sa mga entry level na motor. At sa mga manufacturers naman, sana makahanap din sila ng lalong mas cost efficient way para tuluyan na maging standard ng feature na ito. Ito po ang Honda Beat. Matipid, maliksi, at madaling intindihin. Ito po si Zach ng Makinamoto Features. Ciao!